Welcome to Tuesday's 7th grade English class. Please look at page number 70. Lesson number 11, exercise 2 from yesterday's assignment. Let's take a couple of minutes and double check to be sure that we are fully understanding how to identify a positive or positive phrases in sentences. We also want to be paying close attention to the placement of those commas. On my screen class, you can see that I have highlighted in light gray the appositive or the appositive phrase. And then all but sentence number nine, where the commas were already included, I have placed a single yellow dot or two yellow dots if there were a pair of commas that were needed to separate the appositive from the rest of the sentence. Yesterday we looked at sentence number one. The comma was after Dave and the appositive phrase was her second cousin. You continued by looking at the rest of the sentences. Again, you either underlined or highlighted these phrases that I have in gray and then put in commas where I have the yellow dots. If you need to make a correction on your paper, you can do so. You can self-check these items. Again, if you have a question concerning any one of these 20 items, make for yourself a note in the column on the right-hand side where there's a little extra space and then you can contact me by way of Go Guardian, and I can answer your question for you. Once again, by checking these items, you'll be assured that you're going to get a 100% on this lesson number 11. By checking items in exercise 2, numbers 1 through 20, and you have exercise one completed from our work in class yesterday. Once again, if there's any question concerning these items, you want to be sure to contact me because today, Tuesday, you're going to be going to IXL and you're going to be seeking to get a SMART score of 80 on the exercises with the positives and a positive phrases. Your assignment is to go back and take a look at the IXL link that appears on today, Tuesday's assignment. Review your work with the positives. If you have any questions, please contact me. Tomorrow, we're going to be looking at reviewing those items that we talked about concerning the different kinds of nouns, the formation of plural nouns from singular, the forming of possessive nouns from singular and plural nouns, our work with the positives today, and of course the contractions which aren't nouns, but we need to be aware of them so we don't misidentify um, a possessive, a plural or a singular possessive with a contraction. So once again, your assignment is to go to IXL, um, aim to get a SMART score of 80 on the work with the positives, and we'll come back together tomorrow to begin our review on Unit 2. Have a great Tuesday.